Nearly 80,000 people attend the Badger football games at Camp Randall, and Mike Thompson is one fan who never misses a play. He has special needs, and last Saturday he became separated from his group. With no cell phone and no idea where to go, he was hoping someone walking by would help him. Wake Up Wisconsin anchor Rebecca Rively tells us who stepped in and why it made a dream come true. Badger games bring a lot of excitement to Madison. And Mike Thompson wouldn't miss a second. Oh, 100%. I just, I, I just love going to their games and everything. He's from Nina, Wisconsin, and for 27 years, he's been a season ticket holder. You're a regular there, huh? Pretty much, that's right. Each game, he hitches a ride with a family member. This past Saturday, the Badgers won against Iowa, and Mike was having a great day until it was time to leave. I noticed I didn't see him anywhere. Scary. He got separated from his family member and then things got blurry. Mike has a cognitive disability that makes him anxious at times. I'm always used to being with someone at least and so I was very scary and nervous in a way. When it got to be 15 minutes after the call and 20 minutes after the call, it, I got really scared. I was praying. Meanwhile, Mike made his way to the street outside Camp Randall. Nearly an hour passed, and then... Just said hi. Um, he just standing there and said hi back. Recognize him? That's Badgers offensive lineman Tyler Biotish. I'm lost, and my, um, I can't find my friend and all this, so can I please borrow your phone? Mike had no idea who he was asking for help, but Tyler was happy to step in. So I just want to make him feel comfortable because um, we're not like I wasn't going to leave him at all. The six foot three center is used to protecting the quarterback. But after that game, he wanted to make sure Mike was OK, taking him back to the house he shares with more than 20 other players. Tyler gave me um, something to drink like water and kind of made sure everything was fine. They called his mom, who was able to track down Mike's ride. We were just talking about just the, the game and yeah. how how we played really well and it came down to the wire. And he was on his way. But I got to help him out. But to Mike and his family, Tyler did more than just help out. There must have been something about him that, you know, drew Mike to know that he would be in safe hands. Yeah, something I won't go to forget anytime soon. And it's safe to say Tyler gained a new fan. But would you say that he's now your favorite player? Yeah, you can say that. In Madison, Rebecca Ribley, 27 News. Oh, good ending to that <laughs> story. Well, Mike said he didn't even think to snap a picture with Tyler when they were together. Yeah, he's hoping to run into him again someday.